Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Siren Hit Television. Chris, in his usual manner, happens to have a screwdriver in his hands and he's going to be taking apart a Siren Hit product. It is the SN LBL2 and he's going to be swapping some modules. So let's go over right now and see what he's up to. Thank you, Stuart. Our SirenNet LBL2 light bar has been very popular with our clientele. A really common question that we've been asked for many years now is on the inboard modules. Can you change them or can you rearrange them if you want to do so for your application? So in regards to that, I'm going to give you a demonstration how you'll do an inboard module change. So we'll pop the top, remove some screws, unplug some things, reverse that process, turn it on, show you how simple the process is to do a flip-flop from one side to the other, back to front, what have you. So I'll go ahead, turn the bar on that I have in front of me here. This happens to be our J-Spec bar, which is half red, half blue. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a module from the blue side, take a module from the red side, and reverse them. Turn off the bar, first off, remove the screws, on both the driver side and the passenger side that hold the top polycarbonate fixtures to the bar. There's two short screws in the center, followed by two pairs of long screws on each side. Get those out of the way. Same process. In case anybody was noticing as I'm removing screws, there happens to be a bit of green. This is an epoxy compound that helps seal the screw top into the polycarbonate dome top, basically keeping condensation, grit, grime from being able to get into the hole points on the top. And go ahead, give this a loosen. It's a one piece. Same thing on this side as well. They're on there nice and firmly, but a little force and they'll come off for you. Again, nice one piece unit. Get these out of the way here quickly. Our inboard module sets, red here, blue here, are gonna come out now. Each one is held in with two screws. So I'm gonna come around to the other side of the table, give you a better view how these modules are removed. So I'm gonna remove this module here, this module here, flip-flop them. Start that process off. I'll remove the two Phillips head screws that hold the light head module and its flange onto the mount bracket. little bit more to free them all the way out from the mounting bracket threading. There we go. Get the two screws out of the way here and keep my screwdriver from rolling away. So give you a view of the module here. Take the black flange away. So you can see this here happens to be one of our Sirenet GL3 light heads. A little different here is that these are a steady burn version, so they don't have a built-in flasher. They run off the central flasher in the middle of the light bar here. The module itself has a quick connect harness. You can go ahead, grab the both ends, give it a wiggle, it'll come free for you. We'll do the same thing with this side here. Get 
mounting screw out of the way. And this one as well, get the screw out. I'll leave the flange on this one. I'll go ahead, free my harness. Again, disconnect here. So I'll take my red module, flange back onto it, reconnect the harness, get the blue one over here as well. Again, reconnect my harness. Now I'll reposition the harness so it goes through the center of the aluminum extrusion here. That way there's no pinching, no binding to worry about. Get a screw in, line it up. And same thing with the other. Blue module here, get a screw in the flange side, line up the harness again. Finish tightening this side down. Next step, going to go ahead, switch back to the other side of the counter here, put the top back on the driver's side and the passenger side. Now that I'm back to this side of the counter, go ahead, grab the dome tops like I mentioned. And the other side as well here. So I can go ahead, realign the dome top on the bottom lip here. And we'll just start pinching from the inside, working to the outside. Again, same with this side here. Pinch it down. There we go. We'll go ahead, put the mounting screws back into each top. And you'll notice when the screw cinches all the way down into the top of its mount hole, it completely seals the top and the bottom of the unit. Now for the fun part. So you can see red and blue have been switched. So now on your driver's side, you have a nice display of red with a blue inboard, solid blue on your passenger with a nice display of red in there as well. Go ahead, change a couple patterns for you just to kind of break it up a little. And as you can see, nice and potent, no matter what color configuration it may be. So there you have it, our Sirenet LBL2 light bar, 
how to reconfigure inboard modules to meet your application's color configuration. Thanks for spending some time with me on Sirenet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate that. It's good to see you looking so tanned. I'm Stuart, and thanks for watching Sirenet Television.